Ipolito, during the whole swearing in, you know, you had Dylan Casanova coming over to my right side, standing over this side. I'm sitting down and looking at me with eyes of malice. You know, I I looked on the other side and then you had other members of Plan Corozal there as well. And I said in my mind, God, you know, just let me focus on what I need to do tonight and let me focus on meeting with the people after this and then go home. And that's exactly what I did, Hippolyto. Now, when after Prime Minister left the premises, it got worse. You know, at this time you had um, Neri Ramirez coming to um, insult one of the members because of one of my executive members because he reached out to him and told him to please control um, George, to please control Dylan Casanova and um, the young man Paris. And his, his response was a very offensive one, as you can see in a video that has been going around. He, the, the, the police actually had to restrain him. I stepped only, I would say like two to three tiles away from them to watch Gilhari Seven and the people that were dancing. Now, so the executive, my family are over this side, take into account that nobody is over this side. So I was standing watching, observing, when from behind, Dylan Casanova came and bumped into me, elbowed me, and I actually lost my balance. I had to try to regain my balance. So when that happened, I didn't say anything. I, I looked at him because by then I had seen that it's him. He turned around, he deliberately turned around, looked at me, laughed, and looked at me as to say, so what are you going to do now? So at this point, I turned around and I called the policeman because a, a fight was about to, to start because all the people, they came over towards him that are from Plan Corozal and they, get, they came very aggressive. Um, Jose Perez came wanting to, had a fist in his hand, wanting to punch Ms. Zeni Perdomo.